what's going on guys it's your boy the fedora fox i'm back with another vlog um currently in the city center of birmingham and just pretty much going to the town center to get a haircut the reason why i'm going into the town center and not outside of the town center is because you know i just finished from a meeting at work and so instead of traveling outside of the city center i decided just to get it done in the oasis market on my way to the oasis market guys i'm going to run through the ball ring see what the energy is like there and guys you can have a look for yourself um as usual it's going to be a normal walk and talk i'll show you the energy that's going on and i'll probably speak about various things going on in my own surroundings okay guys all right follow me so guys i'm just outside of one of the entrances at the ball ring um as you might see behind me there's a uh, people eating the only thing i know personally not interested in is joining these long queues and i don't think there are any long queues today but i suppose you know depending on where you go there's going to be lots of uh, long queues waiting to go into pubs and restaurants and stuff but you know we'll have a look at some point um might order something probably not today but next week um probably sit down and have lunch or something um just walking up to the rear of the ball now didn't really plan to say that that sounds wrong <laughs> sorry about that but um, there you go trust me i'm not into balls yeah i'm not into balls got an f1 simulator there i've never actually been in one i'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see the energy that is currently here Again, it's kind of quiet but I mean seeing any type of small crowds nowadays seems busy because the lockdown was so severe here in the UK um, so yeah again not much going on anyway uh, guys just want to update you on a few things that's going on with myself obviously um again sorry for the music might have to cut this out because you know youtube are a bit harsh with uh copyrighted music in the background okay so i've just got past that music blasting out the speakers anyway that's what i was saying yeah so uh what have i been up to recently pretty much um, <laughs> recovering <laughs> most of my days off work I've been recovering and it's crazy I've never actually felt this tired ever like you know and it's not like I'm new to the care industry uh, residential childcare industry but I'm just really feeling burnt out and not only that just other things going on that I'm gonna keep to myself maybe at a later date I might mention it um but you know all of these things contribute to tiredness in the mind um more than anything i would say burnout a lot of times happens up here you know what i mean but anyway while i'm talking let me just flip this camera around guys just so you can uh, see the streets while i'm um chatting away but yeah uh i currently had some uh I want to say sad news but more annoying news um the trading broker that i was currently using which was a uh, forex tv uh regulated uh in um from cyprus but obviously they have uh, all sorts of different nationalities working in their in their company so i'm just entering the oasis market area on the outside but anyway um yeah so the forex tb have decided that they are not no longer working with um with uh, british traders or you know offering their services to traders from the uk and this is down to the um the brexit situation now guys that's just one small aspect of 
the issue with the Brexit. Now, um, I'm not going to get into all of it right now, but it just goes to show there were many people that were voting to get out of the EU um, and execute this Brexit situation, but it comes with a lot of costs. Yes, the UK has more sovereignty, um, but then with that, it's more independence. I mean, most of the UK's um, produce comes from export, you know what I mean? We have to, I should say, we import a lot of, a lot of the produce that we get, so we're kind of screwed there in that regards, but it will take a few years for, for us to kind of recover properly in certain areas, even within the traveling um, department, which to me is very important, definitely, especially for my well-being. Um, but anyway, yeah, so with the Forest TV, I had to uh, withdraw all my funds and had to stop trading with them because I wasn't allowed to do, use their service anymore. And it was kind of annoying because, you know, it did incur some some financial costs to me because I had open trades, which I had to kind of close early when I could have leveraged it out or hedged it out. But I'm not sure if you even understand those terminologies, but there you go. Um, those who are interested in trading will know, but I'm just letting you know what's going on. So anyway, I have a few thousand sitting in accounts that I need to then reinvest into another brokerage and start the process again. Now, I already got used to how the charts look and, uh, you know, using the, the analysis and the other tools involved in on the uh, Forex TB platform. So just to have to relearn again is just annoying. But I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like driving a new car to some degree. It's the same process. It's just, you got to navigate your way through the gears and whatnot the biting point and you know sensitivity and all of that stuff but um there you go what's going on guys so i'm all done in the barbers new trim check it out looking fresh finally or i should say at least fresh uh <laughs> anyway i'm just uh on the way to look for something to eat I haven't eat, eat, eaten anything all day i've had one kind of coke which I mentioned earlier and now it's time to eat I need to eat something not sure where to go but you know we'll we'll work it out we'll work it out anyway um I'll flip the camera around just to keep you guys interested with uh life going by anyway let's go Free copy of the Quran in English. Free copy of the Quran. Free copy of the Quran in English. Islam for free. Free copy of the Quran. Free copy of the Quran in English. Islam for free. Free copy of the Quran. Free copy of the Quran in English. Is he selling meat or something? My gosh. Is he repeating it like he's selling meat? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. By the way, um, I linked up with uh, PAT Live, um, who was already on his way into town, so you know the timing was perfect. So we're gonna have a, a look for something to eat. Like I said, I uh, just wanted to mention that if you hear me talk to someone. I'm not talking to myself. Um, obviously, I'll be talking to you guys. But yeah, just wanted to make sure you guys know I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I decided to. Uh, I decided to upload the. Uh, well, I, think I told you earlier. Put 500 in in the um, plus 500 instead of putting the amount that I had in the other in the other broker so I'm just trialing it out and I think with um, plus 500 it allows you to uh, have fractional shares so you can use a lot less um, of your capital in order to at least try and make something 
So uh, obviously I'm trialing this platform, it's different, different to the other one. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. Yeah, it's pretty quiet down this side of town. Um, obviously, like I said, it's midweek. Not much going on, but guys, you know how it is. It's the walk and talk. I walk and talk and you guys listen. Okay? And obviously you guys can do anything that catches your eye. Anything interested? Interesting, sorry. Yeah. Today. <laughs> I'm just saying. But well, yo, we need to eat. Well, I, I need to eat. I don't know about you. Are you eating? Are you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know I need to eat. <laughs> yeah, man. I just go back to Manchester. And uh, have a good look around. Um, need to do a vlog in Manchester because I'm kind of new to the surroundings over there. Obviously, I've been there a couple of times, been to Old Trafford um, and the town centre. But I want to go on a weekend, which actually I could do on Saturday. Actually, I could do that. What time is it close? What time is it now? You tell me. Huh? You tell me. Four o'clock. Just get it down there. I'm up there, yeah. Man, I'm out here vlogging for you guys. And I'm running errands for this this bike boy. <laughs> this crazy bike boy. Anyway guys, um, yeah so as I was saying, I'm going to go to Manchester and um, vlog around there guys, so uh, one, for my own experience uh, to get acquainted with the city a bit more and two, to show you guys um, ground level views and you know we'll continue the walk and talk vlogs over in Manchester. And so on Saturday, it will be more inter interesting. So can't wait to do that. But anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned. 